So today we'll be continuing compiler design and today we'll be seeing a very important example on all the phases of compiler so starting from the lexical analysis to the code generation or target code we'll see all of them by the help of this example so let's start so position equals to initial plus rate into 60 so first it will go to the lexical analyzer so lexical analyzer okay and what will happen here is we'll get the lexical analyzer which will break into tokens and all of that so it will convert into id for this position equals to operator now id2 now this one equals to plus now for id3 this will be now multiplied now 60 and finally the semicolon now it after the lexical analyzer it will go to the syntax analyzer for checking the syntax of the code so syntax analyzer so here it will store the data type into the symbol table so we'll generate this tree for it so we'll generate the parse tree and it will look something like this so now we'll have like plus here this will be id3 and this will be 60 okay so after the syntax analyzer it will go to the semantic analyzer now so semantic analyzer so after going to the semantic analyzer it will just take the whether it is semantically correct or not and all of that so here the type conversion takes place mostly so what will happen like the rest the star which we have seen the multiplied this will be id3 and it will be like written as int to float and we can write here like 60 and it will go to the first to the plus and then id2 now it will go to the equals to and id1 okay now after going to syntax analyzer semantic analyzer it will go to intermediate code generation so intermediate code generation okay so let us see what will be generated here so basically so we'll just convert them into code so t1 suppose you're taking any random variable int to float so that 60 will be converted into this now t2 another variable it will store id3 multiplied by t1 so now we have t3 this will contain id2 plus t2 and finally id1 will store t3 value okay now this will go to intermediate code optimizer intermediate code optimizer here the code will be optimized uh, the time which was time is taken along in intermediate code generation so it will just minimize the efforts so t1 it will be id3 into directly 60.0 we can write this as and id1 we can directly write as id2 plus t1 so we have saved a lot of time here now finally it will go back to the machine code generation so machine code generation here machine dependent language is formed so we'll have something like this like ldf load register r1 will load the value 60 then we'll write load in register 2 that id3 value now similarly now we multiply mul ldf r2 r1 and r2 will be multiplied and result will be stored in r2 and for fourth line load again will r3 id2 okay now fifth will add r3 r3 and r2 and will store in r3 and finally we will store here id1 and r3 okay now going to this 
we will have something on the final stage here we will have machine code optimizer that will generate the final target code machine code optimization optimization okay uh, this will generate the final code so LDF step 1 LDF R1 and R ID3 okay in register now we will directly multiply the constant value okay now we will go to LDF we will again load the register ID2 okay now we will just add directly R2 and R1 and finally we will store the result so this will like reduce all the costly operations so this was the example for the phases of lexi phases of a compiler so if you had any problem so just comment and if you like the video thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos so thanks for watching it